What's up, Sim Raises Larry? TJR Sim here, and so hope you're doing good today. I uh, just got back from Cali. I uh, had a business trip there for, for a week at a symposium. I was putting on some presentations, and uh, so why do you need to know that? I don't know. I'm just talking, right? So, but uh, Fanatic now is owned by Corsair. We saw this uh, going down here for a while. Uh, Corsair had it floated them some money, you know, it already bought their uh, their uh, trademarks and stuff as well. And uh, if you'd been following it or not, it really doesn't matter. Uh, what does it really mean to you as a consumer at the end of the day? Uh, means that you can you could uh, start buying Fanatic products again and uh, be a little bit more comfortable that you're actually going to receive the Fanatic products again as well. Now. They released this uh, Corsair and Fanatic. This is actually on the website, me being an affiliate. I haven't been promoting Fanatic for uh, I don't know, over a year now uh, for them. And uh, because it, you know, they haven't been delivering. So I, you know, I generally make a, a little extra coin uh, from Fanatic from promoting them through the year. So I haven't been uh, receiving any of that because I haven't been promoting them. Like I said, wasn't comfortable with telling y'all uh, sim racers out there new and old to buy their stuff. Right. So looks like they're going to address some things that everybody's been, uh, having problems with and that's delivery. So speed of delivery here. So they're going to include the uh, customer service will improve. So hopefully your, uh, warranties and, and your questions will get improved. Uh, your speed of delivery as well. Uh, and then software updates. Yeah. I hope they, they do the software a lot cleaner, uh, now as well. Uh, something like Sim Magic, when you get a software update, it just comes through the hub or through the software. It tells you to update it, and you're like, good, uh, I'm good to go. You know, it should be as easy as updating a PC on Windows, right? Uh, same thing with my Logitech wheel. Just had an update the other day. Uh, plugged in the Logitech uh, wheel again, Pro, that is. It gave me an update, easy peasy. I don't have to go through all this uh, side side steps to get things done. So. Uh, I actually don't own any Fanatic products. Well, I do own one. I have a McLaren wheel that is probably one of my favorite wheels of all time. Uh, although I had converted with SRM over to work with my AccuForce back a while, but I still have it on the shelf over here for nostalgia reasons. And, uh, but uh, yeah, I was, uh, why I tell you this is that I am a fan of uh, Fanatic uh, stuff. They, that's who I really started getting into. Uh, more of the enthusiast sim racing market was through Fanatic, so I'd really loved their products for a long time. So, but now now it's good that I can actually say, hey, go buy Fanatic now. You got some somebody with uh, <laughs> some bones behind them there that's backing them with warranties and and uh, getting products out on time. So, but it looks like they're going to be addressing uh, you know the warranty issue. Let's see customer speed of delivery. So that's that's a big problem here they just you know summarized it up here but they hear us uh they know that you know something's gone wrong here in the past and they they look to fix it warranty items of course they'll be warranting your stuff software updates uh step it up to, and see that's uh, we also know that people don't always get it right that's where we will be stepping in and making things better if you don't it won't be perfect straight away, but I'm committed to ensuring we improve this over time. So looks like they're going to be, uh, you know, doing some software updates or how it gets integrated to us. Right. Which is good. And then going for it with Fnatic. Uh, yeah, obviously it looks like it's going to be still named Fnatic. You know, why would you lose that trademark name? Uh, that's what everybody identifies. If you come out with a Corsair direct drive wheel, people would be like, what? So, you know, keeping it fanatic uh, makes sense here going forward. And actually, if you look at, say, you know, Corsair website right here, you have Drop, Elgato. Now it's fanatic up there as well. Uh, Origin and Scuff, right? So they already added their uh, fanatic to it, looks like. Uh, I'm actually interested in the Origin's new, um, their new uh, sim rig that they're coming out here. This looks pretty cool where they actually... Uh, had some foresight to hide the cables through the tubing and stuff. Uh, something that would be really nice. But this kind of actually resembles somewhat of the old, uh, I don't know, this bottom cage here kind of reminds me of the old Fnatic uh, sim racing uh, cockpit that they used to have a long time ago. But I digress. It looks like some good things are on the horizon for Fnatic now. 
And uh, so, yeah, if you're interested in buying some Fanatic, you, of course, now I'll say use my link <laughs> if you'd like to buy some Fanatic, or some Fanatic gear, that is. Uh, if not, uh, yeah, use use my links for other gear that you may be interested in. I have affiliates for Moza and Fanatic and Camus and Sim Magic and um, uh, Cube, Cube Racing, all of them. Uh, all of them I have, have them in there. So you can go check out my uh, TGR Sim here, my Linktree account, and you can go straight to each one. Helps the channel. I get a little bit of kickback here, a few bucks, because YouTube really doesn't pay anything, uh, hardly uh, for small channels like me. But yeah, it's uh, something I'll just reinvest in this company because this is a hobby of mine, so not my day job. But uh, I do enjoy sim racing. I've had passion for sim racing for many, many years uh, since I was a kid, probably longer than some of y'all have been alive. So anyway hope this message finds you well hope you uh, uh you're getting a little bit more uh warms and warm and fuzzies over fanatic stuff here going forward looks like some good things coming so till next time i'm out